guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't been to my channel well my name is Ching really really interested in creating a, my own eye look and I do feel like I would like to share this with you guys and I want to show you guys some makeup tips if and hopefully you guys find it beneficial and um, so today's eye look I was thinking of this for quite a while because October is just around the corner and I really really want to do some eye makeup with like really orangey and autumn kind of style I have been I've been looking into some other beauty bloggers which I like and uh, kind of similar eye look and um, makeup tutorial they did on YouTube and I just want to say okay I'm gonna do it my I'm gonna do my one today and um, to be honest I think this eye look I like it but I do think it can be better because today I'm using the new eyeshadow palette I recently purchased online and I'm just trying to test it out and kind of like first impression as well so you guys will hear my opinions my feedback later on in the tutorial so I there are some pros and cons in the new eyeshadow palette and I do feel like the it would be perfect if they can add some other colors in it but anyway if you like it and if you think okay this eye look actually is not that bad then if you want to see how I create this look please keep watching I've done my face finished my foundation now I just want to prime my eyes I'm using NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer to prime, my, prime both of my eyes now I'm using Real Techniques Base Shadow brush and with my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette I'm taking the color low blow to create a crease on my eyes and I'm creating the crease and blending it out at the same time now I'm using another fluffy brush to just blend it out to make sure there's no harsh line now I'm using this new eyeshadow palette I, I bought from BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic and I really love this eyeshadow palette I'm taking the color Venus this really really nice orange color to apply them with my BH Cosmetics brush number 23 to apply them on my eyelid or the inner corner of my eyes just to do, pack them on all over Now I'm going back to my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush to blend out the joint part, make sure the transition part is nicely done. And then I'm just going to blend out the crease part. And then I'm going to apply more of this orange color on my eyelid to just intensify it. I applied a lot for this eye makeup. And then I'm taking this color Aphrodite, a really nice cherry color. I just want to apply them at my outer corner on my eyes and I'm using the Echo Tours two sides brush I don't know the number of them and I'm tended to drag it along to the joint part I just want to see how it's gonna turn out and then I'm using another Echo Tours two sides brush I'm so sorry I don't know the number I'm taking the color Mars and to just apply it right above the eyelashes above my eyelashes I just want to intensify the colors then I'm just blend all the color together with a blending brush but I still don't think the intensity is high enough so I took another dark brown color it's called Priscilla from another new eyeshadow palette I bought recently to just intensify the outer corner again apologize that I've used so many different eyeshadow palettes but I really just want to make it work and turns out to be nicely and then we just applied again that orange color I think I have three four times because every time when you put on new colors the old colors just fade out so you just need to constantly putting them over and over to make it look really really nice and the same thing I'm just repeating the same step again just to make sure that all the colors are stays on and standing out really really nice
Okay, for the lower eyelid, I'm taking that number 23BH cosmetic brush to apply the orange color along the whole eye, lower eyelid. And then I'm taking that small brush again to deep color Mars to the outer corner of my lower eyelid just to intensify it. As there is no matte color or transition color in that Galaxy Cheek palette, I have to take color ounce from the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette to highlight my eyebrows. I think that's the only defect of this palette. Now I'm using the Tarte Sexy Kitten. No, sorry, wait. Oh, Sex Kitten Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil to apply my waterline. And then I'm using the other side, the built-in smudger, to soften the look and then drag it out naturally. I've already used my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil to make my eyebrow look a little bit normal and now I'm using Kate Tree Color Designing Eyebrow Powder number EX5 to make it more natural and nicer. And then I'm using the lightest color from the powder just to contour my nose. Now I'm back with my fake eyelash on and I'm taking that forever nude sculpt glow. This is a new uh, contour highlight and blush palette I bought from BH Cosmetics as well. I'm using that BH Cosmetics brush number one to take that middle light brown color to contour my face in the beginning because I thought that would suit my skin tone and then I realized it was too light so I went into the dark brown again and to see whether that works and then I mixed them both too and I think that worked just perfectly on my face. I used that two color together to contour my face and my forehead and everywhere. And next I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush to take that really really nice blush color to apply the blush on my face. I love this blush but I do think it's a little bit too pinky for this eye look. I don't know what do you guys think but I do love it. It has lots of sheen in it. Give you a really really nice glow on your face. And then I'm using a fan brush to just take the highlight color and to apply on my cheekbones and my forehead and my nose. I don't think it gives you much of the highlight to be honest on my face. Bit disappointed with this one because I thought it would look really really nice. Last thing I'm using the Kat Von D tra Locket Translucent Setting Powder to just set my whole face and make sure that everything just melts in nicely and naturally. And then I'm taking this George Armani lip, lip gloss number 401, the really really red color because I just want to make sure that this eye look stand out a bit more. Last but not the least, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighters Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting to just set my whole face. Okay, so that's completes today's video and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video. Bye!